In this video, I want to talk about ways that you can grow your Twitter fan base. Now, Twitter is a fantastic tool for marketing and getting more fans and followers. But most people don't use it correctly. And you must make it easy for your fans to find and follow you. And this means having the same branding as on other sites. Now, for example, let's say you run a site in the fitness niche called Ultimate Fitness Supplies and you supply home gym equipment, say. Well, you would want to call your business obviously Ultimate Fitness Supplies. You would have your website, ultimatefitnesssupplies.com. On Facebook, you'd be facebook.com forward slash ultimate fitness supplies. On Twitter, you'd be at ultimate fitness supplies and so on. And you keep that up all the way across. Something else that you should do on Twitter, and it's very simple, but surprisingly people don't, is to simply ask people to follow you. And if you place a Twitter button on your website and ask people to follow you, well, that's usually enough. But if you find people still aren't signing up, it could be because of one or two things. First of all, either no one knows that it's there, so you'll need to make your sign up button a bit more prominent, or you're not providing enough incentive for people to want to sign up. And this can be a big problem. So instead of just leaving it to chance, why not say in the occasional blog post something like, to stay up to date with all our latest content and special offers, please follow us on Twitter. Or for exclusive special offers, follow us on Twitter. And then occasionally perhaps you might tweet a coupon code number to your Twitter fans that they can use to get a discount uh, when they come to check out if you have um, a shopping cart site that sort of thing so it gives people a really good incentive to follow you on twitter because there's something in it for them as well as being able to receive all your latest tweets now something like this might just be enough to draw attention to your twitter feed and get people interested and this works even better in video so if you occasionally vlog be sure to ask people to sign up at the end of each video and you can perhaps have a graphic that says you know follow us on Twitter and then uh, your Twitter tag, etc. And once you have a decent number of followers, then you can use the option to have this number displayed. And this can be really powerful because you know, people love to follow the herd. And you can create a follow button quite easily on this site, which is publish.twitter.com and just simply enter your Twitter URL in here and follow the on-screen instructions. But of course, the best way to get people to follow you on Twitter is to simply deliver quality content, content that people want to read. But unfortunately, so many people get this one totally wrong. So let's look at these particular tweets. And let's say, again, that you're in the fitness niche. Something like this. You know, Do you want to get in shape faster? Try our hashtag chin up, hashtag bar, hashtag fitness, hashtag hypertrophy. Running in a marathon? Make sure your hashtag training, hashtag shoes are up to the task. We're offering a 10% discount to new clients for this month only. Sign up now at, and you've got the bit.ly URL there, hashtag deals. Our dumbbells come in a range of weights and sizes, hashtag dumbbells, hashtag weightlifting. You get the point. So what's wrong with this exactly? Well, it will be quicker to ask what's right with it. I mean, think about it. Would you follow that kind of a Twitter account? You know, what would be the point? If you were an existing customer or fan, seeing adverts for something you were already using wouldn't offer much value. And if you weren't an existing customer, you'd probably be frustrated and annoyed by all the constant nagging. So the question you need to ask yourself is, what would your customers want to read? So put yourself in your customer's shoes, and seeing as we're on a fitness uh, theme here, 
put yourself in their running shoes. You know, what would they like to know about? Well, as you're in the fitness niche, you could provide fitness tips or workout advice, diet ideas, etc. If you run a blog on martial arts, then discuss moves and your favourite martial arts film. You know, think of each tweet as a mini product and try to ensure that the reader benefits from it in some way. Now, whether that's by being entertained or by learning something, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. Also, for business niches, industry news can also prove very popular. Another approach to take is a little less on the nose. You know, instead of directly discussing your niche, your industry or your service, you can talk about the lifestyle of people involved with your topic instead. You know, try and sell the idea that you're all part of a community and tweet about subjects that might inspire or subjects that your audience can relate to. And you don't have to come up with original material every time either. You can retweet tweets from other leading players in your niche. And this helps to build a sense of community and it tells followers that it's okay to retweet your tweets too. And of course, then you'll spread your word much further and wider than you would do if it was just to your own followers. So there you go, just a few ways that you can grow your Twitter fan base.